Greetings and welcome to another Pokemon 2023 or Pokemon Horizons the series anime episode preview discussion. This time I am talking about the preview for episode 49. So let's get to it. In this episode it will be Dot's turn to have her gym battle slash Terrasto test. Or rather this is what was supposed to happen. Instead it's clear that her battle with Iono will take place in the next episode which is titled Shine Terrastal Dance Dance Quaxly. Episode 49 will instead focus presumably on what Nido Thing means to Dot. Given not only the title of the episode which is Dot and Nido Thing, but also because a Baroom steals her costume and she must fight it to get it back. This Baroom, which I assume is wild, terrifies poor Tinkatink and it is seen battling Quaxly who will clearly struggle. This will all likely be preamble, build up, a prelude to Dot vs Iono. Of the three battles thus far, this is the most personal one. Liko and Kathy did not know each other. Roy did have a score to settle with Brashius, but this still pales in comparison to the link between Iono and Dot. After all, Iono inspired Dot to join the Rising Bolt Tacklers and travel the world. Plus, she has been a constant source of advice and guidance. They feel like sisters, or at least like master and disciple. So them battling each other is very significant. Added to this, the fact that Dot is even less confident than Liko, especially because she is battling Iono, and it's easy to see why they will give her an episode to come to terms with who she is, who she wants to be, what she wants to accomplish, etc. A chance to reflect and prepare mentally for the challenge ahead. An opportunity to steal herself and her resolve. And a chance to practice since she has less battle experience than Liko and Roy. Now this is a good thing. I'm all for this approach. Especially because it means more Iono. However, I do have to say that it's a bit unfair that Liko and Roy both got one episode for their test while Dot gets two. I understand that Dot needs the extra time more due to everything I discussed and the fact that she has not received as much focus and development as Liko and Roy. But still, come on. Roy's episode felt so rushed and Liko's battle was so stale. An extra episode for each test would have made them Better, more meaningful, more action-packed, more memorable, more significant, etc. It's truly a shame that they got the short end of the stick while Dot gets special treatment. They all deserve the same level of focus. All that aside, I am very much looking forward to Dot vs Iono. With one episode dedicated to it, it should, emphasis on should, be the best of the three battles. Hopefully they won't rush through it in the first half of the episode. They should take their time with it so that it can be a fully fleshed out and exciting battle. Ideally I want it to be two on two so that Tinkatink can battle as well. Watril and Hathena did not get to do so. Therefore the second Pokemon have been neglected thus far in terms of action. Hopefully Tinkatink can fix this. But yeah, that's about it. I will leave any other predictions and expectations for Iono vs Dot for the next preview discussion, which will be on the episode where it will take place. I just want to add that I am looking forward to more Iono who is seen in the preview, chilling and snacking, and hopefully Baroom vs Quaxley will be a decent battle at least. Also, Freed will reunite with Liko and friends in this episode. I wonder if we will learn more about whatever secret mission he's got going on. Episode 49 will air on May 10. When it airs, I will of course review it, so please stay tuned for that. But that's the video. Click the links on screen to see my recent episode reviews. I will see you over there. Thank you so very much for watching.